I absolutely love a body oil. Like right back when I was a teenager, I used to use Johnson's Baby Oil. I don't know if there's anyone out there who used to do this, but I used to lather my body in Johnson's Baby Oil just because I love the smell of it. I love how it felt on my skin. It was super moisturizing. And so I'm still addicted to body oils in my old age. And I have five here that I wanted to share with you and recommend to you because I think they're extra special. The first one is by Irene Forte. Her range of products are lovely, please check them out. But this is the Orange Blossom Body Oil and it's extremely relaxing. It is beautifully fragranced, obviously Orange Blossom. It's gonna smell a bit fresh and it's got a bit of a floral edge to it. It's really lovely on the skin, really hydrating and like I say, very relaxing. And I really love the packaging. Very weighty, feels like a metal bottle. Could be ceramic, not sure. Glass? Yes, maybe coated glass. But anyway, it's really heavy and I like that. And the pump's really nice. I'm a bit of a sucker for good packaging. Anyway, so that one is Gorge. Love that. The next one is a brand new launch by Augustina Spada and it's the body oil with TFC8 which I can only assume is the amazing technology that goes into all of their products, which is super anti-aging and reparative and just generally all round amazing. This arrived to me this week and I've used it all week and I love it. It's not fragranced at all from what I can make out. So if you're someone who's not into fragrances, then this is the oil for you. And if you want an even more enriched, moisturizing experience after your bath or shower, I would suggest putting a few drops of oil into a body cream or body lotion, just because then you can get all the moisturizing properties of the oil without that really oily feeling. So I like feeling quite oily, but not if I'm in a rush, I'm just about to get dressed and maybe, or maybe I'm putting on something that's a bit clingy. It's not ideal to be an oily body. So that's when sometimes I'll just put a few drops into like a lightweight lotion, just to enrich that lotion and give me the extra moisturizing properties without the very oily feeling on my body. So I've done that with the, with this one and the Augustinus body lotion, which is also a new launch. I'll share more about that another time. Anyway. Fab. Next up is a body oil by Costa Brazil. They are a very cool brand. They also have a really nice body lotion, but this is the Kaya Jungle Firming Oil. And Kaya is an ingredient that is harvested exclusively for Costa Brazil, and it's found in the Amazonian rainforests. And it's a really amazing ingredient. It's actually classed as an essential, a super essential fatty acid. So it's it's like mega good for the skin. Now you can use this, of course, on the body because it's a body oil, but you can also use it in your hair. So just in the kind of like ends of your hair, if you if it's feeling a bit dry, needs a bit of a boost. I also use it around my cuticles, on my nails, it's really nice. It smells lovely. It's really, um, it's like kind of fresh and a bit spa-like. If you know what I mean? I sometimes, again, put a few drops of this into um, body lotions and I take this one traveling with me because it's such a small bottle. It's great if, you know, you don't wanna pack a big body lotion with you when you're going traveling just for kind of a weekend or something. You might wanna use the hotel body lotion, but sometimes they're a bit substandard, aren't they? So then what I'll do is I'll just put a few drops of this in there and it really pimps it up and gives my body what it needs. Next is the lovely body oil by Liha. I, know, I don't know if I'm saying it right. Liha, anyway, so this is the Iden oil and it's a coconut oil and it's infused with tuberose. You can see in the bottom there, that brown thing is a little tuberose. It looks really murky because when the temperature is a bit cooler, it will just literally solidify. So you just need to run the bottle under a hot tap and it will completely melt and go totally clear. But as it's such a hot day, it's kind of in its in-betweeny stage. But it smells divine. Oh, I love it. It's just that coconutty tuberose smell is just very, very nice and feels great on the skin. Of course, you can put a few drops into the bath to make the bath a bit more special. Great brand, it's my second or third bottle. I've lost track, but anyway, 
love it. The next one is by Bamford. It's the Silent Organic Body Oil. And this is the one that I will use when I want to have a bit of a kind of special evening, really feel like I'm having a visit to the spa because the smell of this is really like essential oils. You know that spa smell? Very relaxing. They have a great bath oil that I think I've shared on a su Sunday sessions before. So I'll use a few drops in the bath and then when I get out, my skin is still a bit damp. I will apply this. It's a very special feeling. It's got Roman chamomile, cannabis sativa and lavender flower. Very nice. So anyway, that's the last one. And those are the five oils that I wanted to share. So I will link, of course, to each of them below. If you have any questions, let me know. And I look forward to seeing you next week. Thanks so much for watching.